Hey there, this is Robert Murdoch, Certified SolidWorks Professional, and I'm here to teach you today how to make a custom weldment profile. Uh, this is a common request. Uh, it tends to get confusing, especially on the file structure, not so much on how to make the weldment profile, but we'll, uh, we'll talk about both. So what we see here is a weldment frame that I've made here. Normally when you're doing a weldment, you come over here, hope I got eggs in my sketch, structural member. You've got a few things to choose from, uh, maybe angle irons, for example, but by default, SolidWorks only has three sizes, and maybe they aren't the sizes that you want. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna make me a quick weldment, and we'll do a new group. This will be nice and ugly. There we go. Okay, so this isn't done very well, which that's fine. There we go. Weldments is quick though. Throw some parts together. You can actually reorient these and actually make it what you want so they all look like corners, for example. Um, but yeah, maybe these aren't the sizes you want. Maybe you want a smaller angle iron or a bigger, bigger angle iron. So we're going to talk about how to make those custom profiles and then how to structure your folders. The first thing that you need to do is find out where your weldman profiles are saved. You can find these if you go to tools and then options, you get this window here. We'll go to custom, we'll go to our file locations and change our pull down to weldment profiles. And we're gonna get a file location here. This file location is where your profiles are saved. Here I've got my explorer. I'm gonna open this up here and we've got C drive, program files, SolidWorks Corp. I've rearranged my file structure, you'll just say SolidWorks Corp. If you have multiple versions of SolidWorks, you'll see this file maybe two or three times. So you want to make sure you select the correct one. SolidWorks, Lang, English, and then Weldment Profiles. Now here, normally you just have ANSI Engine and ISO. I'm going to delete this, that was from a test run. Okay, so these are the default folders that you see here. Let's say you want to copy the angle iron. So we're going to go to ANSI inch, find the angle irons. Here we go. Uh, and I'm just going to open this up. And the easiest way to get it, whoops, ha, easiest way to get this to open, go back to SolidWorks and close that, bring up my thing, is just, yeah, let's not save that, we don't need it is just drag and drop this file into the blank SolidWorks screen and it'll open up. So here we go, this is what the profile looks like, but maybe it's not the size that I want. So I'm just gonna edit the sketch, let's change the values here. There's a lot of smart stuff in here, which is why I'm starting with the one that they already created. So I'm gonna hit 0.5 and that's gonna shrink it down. Maybe this radius is too big, so we're just gonna change it to 0.1. Yeah, okay, there we go. change some values. Okay, so now I've edited it and it's the size that I want it to be. Exit the sketch and now we're going to go File, Save As. It's going to bring up the original folder and I'm going to call this Robert's Custom Angle Iron. So now you have two choices. You can either save this in the same folder and it'll show up in the same place or we can create a custom folder. And sometimes if you're making an entirely new profile, Maybe you want to do like two by fours for wood beams or something like that. Um, it would be good to make your own custom folder. So up here you can see there's a file structure. Weldment profiles, ANSI inch, angle iron. Essentially this is the standard, this is the type, and then inside the folder is the sizes. So I'm going to go up to weldment profiles and I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call this custom. So that's the new standard. Custom is the new standard. Inside custom, I'm going to make a new folder, and we're going to make this folder called angle irons. But if you had something different, maybe you're making window trim or something, you could call this folder window trim. And we're going to save this custom angle iron here. And I'll just change the name here. In fact, I'm not going to call it Robert's Custom. I'm going to call it 0.5x. Well, we don't want a point in there, do we? Oh, that probably should be fine. Cross, 
0.5 angle dot s l d l f p. I'm just typing that in manually because I've got periods in there and it'll make it work a little bit better. So we're going to hit save. Close that. Start a new SolidWorks part. I'll do a quick sketch on the front plane and I'll just do a rectangle this time. So there's my rectangle. Go to Weldments Structural Member. So now when you go to this pull down we have a new thing. Custom. A new type. Angle irons. And a new size. Select my groups just like I normally would. There they are. Looking pretty good. Create our structural member. It's excellent. And just to confirm, I'm going to use this tool over here. This is measure. And I'm going to measure from here to here. And you can see 0.5 inches. So our custom profile has been made. And I mean, and you can do whatever you want. You make all kinds of great profiles here. I'm going to close this. Don't save. Let's look back. Let's open up that SolidWorks one again. And this time I'm going to delete what they have completely. <laughs> Edit sketch, thank you. There we go, delete. And now I'm gonna make something completely unique. So I'm gonna start with a rectangle and I'm gonna draw another rectangle inside of that. And then I'm gonna make like a little nub that goes on the inside. And then I'm gonna use my favorite tool, trim tool, to just get rid of all the extra lines. So now we know that we've got only what we want here. We'll go select others to make sure we don't have a bunch of extra lines. I don't. Okay. I'm not going to dimension it because we don't need to deal with that. But if you want to make it special, you can. Custom profile. Save as. Go back up to Weldman Profiles. Custom. Make a new folder here. Random. There we go. I don't think I can use an apostrophe in file name, so I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, Robert's random profile. Save. Close that. Make a new part. Once again, we're going to make a sketch on the front plane. Do a rectangle. And then make a structural member from that. Now you can see we have ANSI inch custom ISO, still custom. But now under type, we have a new random. And Robert's random profile see I've got this E thing and it just I mean SolidWorks knows how to miter it right away you can see it's got it clipped off at the correct angle and everything click OK and now you've got a pretty great channel and so if you're doing things like aluminum uh, window trimmings or uh, frames and things like that this is a really great technique and as you can see SolidWorks handles it really well I guess the trickiest part is that file structure. So as long as you get the file structure right, you should be set. Uh, this has been Robert, Certified SolidWorks Professional, and this has been your Quick Tips video. Have a great day.